This is a review of Satachi Aluminum USB Wired Keyboard. The color that I have here is space gray. Taking it out of the box, we have the keyboard sitting in this black plastic case. Underneath it, we have two rubber feet with 3M tape on the back for height adjustment. And a user manual. Taking the keyboard out of the plastic bag, it's a full-size keyboard that is very compact. Right off the bat, we can see some design with the keycaps, which we will dive in further in a bit. This keyboard is really thin, and the bevel is very clean around the edges. It does get scratches very easily, just be careful and don't drop things on it. Flipping to the back of the keyboard, there are 6 rubber stops and a clean Satachi print at the center. On the top, there is a non-detachable USB wire. It is not braided or anything, and it's just a thin rubber wire. Above the number pad, we have cut, copy, and paste. I personally think it's a nice touch from Satachi, since I never find hitting command XCV to be a comfortable hand gesture, and I do like this simple press of action. Slightly above these shortcuts, we have three indicators. On the very right, we have a power indicator. It basically lights up and stays green as long as the keyboard is plugged into a power source. On the very left, we have our caps lock indicator. The middle is the indicator for F and lock, and it's blue instead of green like the others. You can toggle it with FM plus escape key. If the light is on, the FM row will behave as F1 to F12 as primary press without holding the FM key. And when the light is off, the default will behave as the Mac function keys. And let's take a closer look at the function row comparing it to my MacBook Air. F7 to F12 is basically the same media control from the MacBook keyboard. F1 and F2 is the same for adjusting screen brightness. It's worth noting that F14 and F15 also controls the brightness as well. F3 to F6 is slightly different on this Satachi keyboard. Instead of going through each and every one of them, I'll summarize them in this slide. I'm already used to the keyboard shortcuts for these, but if you prefer an easy press of action instead of doing Ctrl or Command plus stuff, they are available. If you're switching from other keyboards, you might find yourself accidentally pressing F and key instead of control. But I don't think you will have this issue if you were switched from the MacBook keyboard since the layout is the same. And let's do a quick 30 second type test and we'll talk about the touch and feel. I feel like this is just an okay mushy membrane keyboard, and nothing's too outstanding for me. The concave doesn't really help positioning my fingers towards the center. The bottom row is convex, but with the board this thin, it doesn't really help. I still find myself miss pressing the spacebar from time to time. The spacing between the keys is a bit too big that my fingers sometimes get trapped in between and press an empty. Having all that said, this is a pretty solid build and no wobbly key anywhere. I do find using the adjustable feet make this keyboard more comfortable to type on. But maybe they could've used magnetic legs instead of using 3M tape, just so it is not a one-time adjustment and will give me more freedom to move them around. I got this keyboard for about $80 from Amazon. The overall build is pretty solid. I think the typing experience is just okay. It feels about the same as MacBook keyboard in terms of typing comfort. Functionality-wise, I think it is a very thoughtful design by Satachi. I do appreciate the shortcut and FN toggle lock that makes this very much qualified to be a productivity keyboard. Anyways, hope this is useful to anyone who is interested in this keyboard, and I'll see you in the next one!